Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Capricorn November 20, 2022. Choosing an endeavor or activity that engages both your heart and head makes the most sense today, with a Sun Pluto aspect and the Moon in your sign. You could discover a project that absorbs your attention and make significant progress on it today. Your eye is on your list of priorities. The Sun Pluto transit can boost romantic relationships, writing, conversations, relationships with children, creative projects, or hobbies. Meaningful connections might take shape, and you could decide to take on a task you passed on in the past because you're now ready for it. Your strength and confidence to express yourself authentically also improve. You can very well persuade and fascinate others. Get ready for total passion and intensity to be on your menu today. As the mighty sun sizzles through your solar third house of communication, you'll feel incredible power course through your mind and spirit. This is because our great luminary will dance with powerhouse Pluto now spinning in your solar fifth house of true love, romance, and dating. A profound intellectual and romantic revelation may be upon you, especially if you've been looking to tell someone how you feel or have a heart-to-heart. -heart. If single, you may link up with someone through social media or your nearby surroundings who captivates you on the deepest of levels. Whatever you think or say could change everything. Since you are ruled by Mercury, you know that sharing your thoughts, opinions, and questions can be impactful. When the Sun in Scorpio sextals Pluto in Capricorn today, you may find yourself speaking up more directly. Something could trigger you into communicative action, especially if it relates to your ideas, passion projects, or talents. Watch your tone, turf, and timing when you take action in conversation. You could use your communicative presence to turn the tides either in your favor or against you at work. The moon's return to your income sector today might be an ordinary monthly event, something that every four weeks can sharpen your nose for money and act as a trigger, this is not only significant here but on the job and career fronts as well. As well as sharpening your nose for money and acting as a trigger, this first visit since Mercury ended all planetary activity can tie up loose ends and sweep up any untapped potential. Given the present celestial atmosphere, you may be prone to urinary tract infections, or something related, if you haven't been drinking enough water. It is vital that your kidneys, the organs that cleanse your system, get plenty of this purifying substance flushing through them at this time. All the discipline you ought to have around your renal health is important to consider. If someone in your circle is lost to you today, be sure to take care of yourself. Endings can be a big part of a nine vibration and it's not always easy to deal with. Yet, it's an essential part of the cycle of life. A nine's vibration clears the path for new beginnings and new life. As miserable as it can feel, goodness almost always springs forth. Just be sure that you take steps to care for yourself on an emotional level. Seek out the support you need. Just days after they both return to your home and family sector to begin the first planetary activity on the home front since Mars left in January, Venus and Mercury begin a six-day alignment. This has put heart and mind on the same page three days before the sun is due to turn the solar spotlight onto home and family matters. With a new moon next week offering a chance for new beginnings, Venus and Mercury are already giving you the means to see what you want and how to make it happen. While Venus and Mercury won't return to your romantic sector until early next month, they have aligned today as they work to make your life as love-friendly as possible before they arrive. In the meantime, while the moon's final hours in Virgo might create some tension on the relationship front, this is the push to take advantage of the extraordinary communication support building. Our eyes in the sky. The moon trines Uranus while we're sleeping, bringing with it some of the passion and excitement we've been craving. As you begin the day, you're going to want to fulfill your desire for knowledge in whatever area interests you. The passion is very real and intense, and you can also maintain the focus necessary to apply your new knowledge. You are at peace with yourself. Friends and family have noticed this, reacting very positively, and you will return these sentiments. 
It's time to enjoy life with family and friends and to plan leisure activities together. Always bear in mind that these special moments are very rare and precious. This afternoon, the moon squares Mars, which can cause arguments with the people we care about. We could also lose focus and find ourselves drifting into deep thought. You could lose quite a bit of time to daydreaming today. You feel attractive and reveal your seductive approach with the captivating way you engage others in conversation. You receive admiring looks of approval from the people that matter most to you. If you want you're easily able to get the attention of new partners who find your eye-catching behavior irresistible. The moon also opposes Neptune, making the end of the day a good time to connect in a fun way with your partner. You could be feeling very silly. This is also a great time to appreciate the people, hobbies and gifts that bring out the weird in you. Show your gratitude for your sense of humor and zany sensibility. In the pre-dawn hours, the Virgo moon trines Uranus in Taurus, making us receptive to change. This dynamic transit helps us to see routine patterns and behaviors in a new light. A willingness to adapt supports us in breaking free of limiting beliefs. As many of us will be asleep at this hour, we might receive valuable insights in our dreams. Be sure to journal visions upon waking, as intuitive messages may linger in our consciousness for long after we have returned to reality. Be prepared for love to become a more permanent feature, you don't have to do much to get yourself noticed. Your secret is to simply be yourself, even if sometimes you feel a little uncertain. What matters is you're prepared for any eventuality, it's in the most unexpected of places your dream lover can appear. Both mind and body are in perfect harmony, you feel fully fit. Don't overdo your exercise regime, what seems to be a logical amount of activity doesn't always correspond with your energy level. Too much strenuous exercise can lead to problems, so take control, be cautious and employ some firm discipline. You will have to put up with unpleasantness in your private life, being asked repeatedly to take a stance on awkward conflicts. Some decisions may be taken that cause you great pain. Try to see this phase as a chance for inner growth. If you find the right way of doing things, you will be successful. Constantly tempted to seek pleasure for yourself, you don't even consider the thought of sharing intimate moments with another. If this is the way you feel, your attitude may satisfy you in the short term, but you notice something is missing, you're disenchanted. Practice self-restraint, reflect on your conduct. The cosmic weather is then quiet until afternoon, when the moon opposes Neptune in Pisces, provoking anxiety. Confusing interactions give us the wrong impression of others' intent. Alternatively, we may be the one who is misunderstood. Guilty emotions place us in a shame spiral. We feel unable to live up to others' expectations. Should we enter into any contracts or agreements now, be prepared to renegotiate the terms later on. This influence is best used for creative activities, or just zoning out.